I am in your midst. I have come to deliver unto you, beloved, a sacred scroll which I have penned with my own hand. Now, beloved keepers of the flame and devotees of the seventh ray and all who would enter the age of Aquarius, I, Saint Germain, stand for this victory in you and in the earth. My most beloved sons and daughters, do be seated in this company. When the ascended masters look around the world, north, south, east, and west, finding, looking for, hoping to find again those souls of light who will carry a flame and not let it flicker, we always come back to that focus, that very focus here in the heart of the inner retreat, here in the hearts of the chilas and the chilas who are gathered the world around in this patch. To you I say, hail great ones of light throughout the earth, for I hold you right here on this stage in my heart and there is no distance no time and space between us all. I have come in the name of El Moria, the chief of the Darjeeling Council of the Great White Brotherhood, I ask you to give special dynamic decrees for El Moria and for his most intense service in this hour. Beloved ones, please make calls to him 30 minutes daily until he moves past the crisis in which he finds himself today. I need not belabor this point, but I ask you in his behalf to send legions of light to know within yourselves that God can raise up our beloved master in Darjeeling, that God may raise him up to the highest levels, for he is above all determined not only to bring the Chilas home, but to bring this world into a profound equilibrium. Blessed hearts, we look to communications, we look to the media, it is high time you decided whether to put the messenger's dictations or excerpts thereof on cable TV or not to do so. This has been a deliberation in this community off and on over the years. Well, it is time that you made your decision. It is time that you realize that certain clips of the messenger's teachings are in fact designed for many souls who are out there who are just waiting with ear pressed, waiting to hear this teaching. So beloved, you have much on your agenda, but you must understand that you must take opportunity while you have access to the media to put the messenger on TV in those areas across the nation where that can happen. We would like to see far more exposure of the messenger and far more exposure also of the chilas and those of you in teaching centers who have the skills whereby you may put it on in your local area those programs that you have created. This is important for beloved as we have said and said again the time is short we must move, and if you will not give us the materials that are right there, then what shall we do? Therefore, analyze these tapes, 
Analyze them, beloved. You need not give even more than 10 minutes or 15 minutes to a half hour or a 55 minute show. But beloved, if people do not see the messenger, they will not tie in to me. So it is not only the messenger, but it is myself and I am not being seen through her. Understand this, beloved. You may not consider that I am perfect or that the messenger is perfect or that the word is perfect, but indeed, beloved, it is good enough right now to captivate hearts who know that Saint Germain is out there, who know that this messenger is out there, and they are determined to find us. Will it be too late? Consider this when you make your decisions and determine whether you will have the courage to let the messenger go forth and be the messenger and speak the teachings. It is perfectly all right if some reject the teachings. Some will follow, some will believe, some will internalize, some are ready. We are not concerned about those who are not ready. We are concerned about the ones who are ready and yet they are not able to find us. Precious ones, please meditate in your heart for I would take you to the cave of symbols this night. I will meet you in conclave. I will meet all of those of you who are on the patch and many of you who are not on the patch. We must have a communion together. We must understand what are our most important tools. Let us not forget that we have trained this messenger for centuries. Let us not forget that you yourselves are highly capable to transmit the message, but perhaps you don't have as much cable access as the messenger does. Let us ponder these things, for this is the 1st of January, moving to the 2nd. Yes, this is the time and the hour when we have three years to make a dent in this world, three years to halt cataclysm, three years to bring equilibrium to the groanings and moanings in the earth of the earth body itself. Think of this, beloved, three years. Three years, beloved, we must find the souls of light and bring them in through the media. So I ask you to report back to me, what are your deliberations? What are your decisions? So that we, the Darjeeling Council, may also vote and determine, therefore, what we see as being most important. The concerns of my heart have to do, beloved, with the situation of government in every nation. This has been spoken of, we shall speak of it again. There are not so many individuals in the national government, in the states, who really have the sense, the empowerment, the energy that has flowed through them as liberty's flame for hundreds or thousands of years. There are not so many in the earth, but I tell you, there are enough. And that is all we need, enough. Enough of the stalwart ones, enough of those who have said, give me liberty or give me death. Yes, those are about, they are educated, they understand what is moving in the political situation. Where do we turn? We turn right back to the hearts of the keepers of the flame. And through you and through your decrees, we contact many. We give them at inner levels tremendous training. We bring them to the cave of symbols or to the royal Teton retreat. We bring them, we focus them, we show them clearly what is happening. It would seem to you that these freedom fighters are few, but they are many. They will be many more, beloved, if you will take the torch, the flame of freedom, if you will ignite them, if you will call for the violet flame to strip them of those substances that cause them to have an overlay whereby they do not see, they do not hear, they do not understand. 
What is the real equation? There are so many voices that are hollow, that are evil, that are playing into the hands of absolute darkness. But, but the great white brotherhood is alive and well and active, and the messenger is active, and the chilas are active, and those who are coming into the activity are active, and therefore we must count on you to multiply yourselves and pray for those who simply cannot get through that dross of that overlay which the violet flame would take care of, and especially the dross in the brain where people have smoked and taken in all kinds of drugs, all kinds of cigars, cigarettes, etc. Let us recognize then that there is an army out there and that you have to go and find it. No small reason why many of you must go out. You must find these ones and do it quickly. Fulfill your jobs, fulfill your education, but save some time for me during this three-year cycle, for we must win. We must win. There is no such thing as not having the victory. We commend our representative, Reverend Jean Vossler, and his beloved Wanda, for their great service to us and to America. We ask you to multiply that action by your prayers, by your decrees, by the wonderment of God, and know that what they have done, you can join them and do also. You can go and canvas the nation, beloved, and bring the realization of the threats upon this nation to those who are the youth, those who may be older, those who are college students, and those who are the ancient patriots from long ago come again. Now you understand, beloved, that our focus and my main focus in this hour must be for you throughout these three years, the reversing of the tide of all attempts of those foreign governments and foreign military establishments to move against the United States to do so with nuclear weapons, to do so with nuclear submarines. All of this can come to pass, or all of this will be defeated. Therefore, let Saturday night be Saturday night, and let it be consecrated, and let us choose another day to make merry. For Saturday night is the day when all the violet flame beings of the cosmos may multiply their offering upon this altar and the altar of the messenger's heart. So know that, beloved, and come to that service and give your all and reverse the tide and call for the binding of the dweller and the threshold of the fallen angels who move throughout the world and are the spoilers. They are the spoilers from forever and a day. But that day has come, and that day will be their nemesis, and it will be their nemesis because you, the Chilas of El Moria, understand the stakes, and you are not about to give up this terror to the fallen angels. To be seated, most gracious sons and daughters. Now we have a number of things up our sleeves, beloved. We have great determination. And once and for all, we say to you, when you intensify the violet flame and intensify it again, and you prove that to us in the next three months, beginning with winter solstice and moving to that spring equinox, in that period of time, show us, beloved, show us what you can do with a violet flame when we give access to you, when we give you opportunity for the multiplication of that flame. 
Remember the goddess of liberty. Remember the freedom fighters in the etheric octaves who move among you almost as angels of light. Indeed, they are angels of light. They come from the battlefields of earth. They prepare to reincarnate. They look for parents. They are on their way. Yes, beloved, if you can show such a mighty manifestation of violet flame consistently and with determination, then by spring equinox, I may have for you a most stupendous dispensation that will be accorded to me, I trust, by the lords of karma, the solar logoi, and all great cosmic beings of light. Beloved, I need a little bit more clout when I go before these beings, and therefore I have to tell them what great ones you are and look how much you have done. So please do not make a liar out of me, please, beloved. Beloved ones, this first quadrant of the year is the etheric cycle, as you know. Now, if you pack that first quadrant with such intensity and momentum of the violet flame, what will happen? You will be transmuting by the violet flame your own etheric body. You will clear that body of debris. You will clear the basement. You will clear the attic. And you will find that you have a much more active, vibrant, flaming presence in that etheric body. So you see, it blesses us all to have you invoke the violet flame, but we will not stop there. We will, with a mighty force, as one great army of light around this world, we will roll back those forces who are determined to deny freedom, whether in China, whether in Tibet, whether anywhere else in the world, including Africa. Beloved ones, these deplorable states, I have moved through the earth, I have tried to see them stopped over many lifetimes as I have been the Count Saint Germain. But beloved, it takes more than myself. It takes the people of God upon earth who are willing, truly willing to give of their life to turn around the forces of anti-freedom in this planet. And they are evil. If you want to know what evil is all about, then let's talk about the evil ones who move against the people who ought to be free, who ought to have been freed a long time ago for thousands of years past. And so it came about that year after year, decade and century after century, finally you have come together as these ones of the freedom flame. Now you have the knowledge. Now you have the armor. Now you have the call to Archangel Michael and the seven holy Kumaras. Now you have all of this. So, beloved, it is this time or never that we must defeat these interlopers who have come to this planet to take away that flame of freedom, to steal it, to abuse it, and to see to it that so many souls of light and even children in their sweatshops are still enslaved. This ought not to be. Omri Tas has spoken to me in these past days. He has told me that he is working with all the members of the violet planet, the hierarchs thereof, and many legions of light, and the populace itself. And they are of one mind, beloved. Those beings of the violet planet are determined to come to earth and help you. They must have, however, a manifestation that is met. It is a manifestation and an approval by the karmic board and the great solar logo eye that they may come to earth because those in the earth have first given that violet flame and laid a violet flame carpet for Omri Tas so that he may come to earth more frequently than only once or twice a month. We need Omri Tas here and now. Let's show him that we will respond and we will make the calls and we will bring forth that violet flame and therefore those hierarchies of vast intelligence will okay and you will see from far off worlds that giant green go, go for it. 
Go for it. Go for it. Let's do it, beloved. Now is the time for action, for in a sense we are perpetually in the physical octave, perpetually having to fight back in the physical octave. Let's know that the violet flame can transmute this, can dissolve it, for the violet flame is the universal solvent that many of the alchemists have looked for. The violet flame is it. It is out in the world. It is in your hands. Let's use it, beloved. Let's use it. What more can I say to you? I can say that my beloved Portia is also with me and that she is absolutely determined that the flame of divine justice shall intervene. And at my left hand, I find the lovely lady, Master Kuan Yin. And she also has said to me, between beloved Portia and myself, we will give the momentum of the violet flame of our causal bodies to you, beloved Saint Germain, because we know so many light bearers, so many children, so many life streams who are ready to place their footprints in the earth, to grow up, to be leaders, to raise the, the stature and the level of integrity, integration with the manifestation of God. Oh, we can do these things, beloved. Rejoice. What can I do for you that will enable me to have more from you that I might give to God and that these individuals whom I shall not name who are in positions of power at top levels of the government when they will not keep themselves in the integrity of the sacred fire of the seventh ray. It is truly a very dark hour in Washington, D.C., a very dark hour in many nations of the West. It is dark because the people do not have integrity, integrity through the violet flame, integrity through the great causal bodies of all ascended and cosmic beings. I tell you, beloved, when you think about this, you must know that God has everything you need to have your victory, that God is ready to give this to you. Only prove to him that constancy, that effectiveness that will carry us through the dark astrology of these three years. Let us consider the most lethal dangers to the evolutions of the planet, to the atmosphere, to the four lower bodies. We must begin at the point of our greatest vulnerability, our vulnerability of, as keepers of the flame, our vulnerability as citizens of the world, as we see the selling wholesale of all kinds of armaments between nations among those in the Middle East, perhaps those even coming into the United States. The entire world is a powder keg. Therefore, it is the greatest threat and an even greater threat since the leaders in this nation have not seen fit to put in place what is necessary to turn back missiles aimed at the United States. America, the vulnerable. America, a people of greatness. A people who could save the world if you could wrest them from their couches, who look and look upon the fictions, drowning themselves, not in seeing reality. Have there not been a hundred examples of such situations where people of greatness have come to naught because they could not see the enemy, they could not believe that they were not the most powerful and the most equipped? Blessed ones, I think that we all must contemplate how we would all feel this night if we were sitting in this court of King Arthur and if it were all over and we had lost the war, and freedom had lost its position in the planet, perhaps, God knows, for hundreds of years to come or more. How would we feel then? It is important to be a futurist, and the messenger has always been a futurist, looking into the future, 
positioning oneself there, then looking back in time to the present and saying, will we have made it? Will we have conquered? We will have the ultimate victory. Is it so? Will it happen? Or shall we also be asleep? Blessed ones, there are many who can form committees. There are many who can do much simply as watchmen on their own representatives, senators, and congressmen. You can keep watch upon the wall of the Lord, but it will take more, beloved. It will take the action of the bodhisattvas. It will take the action of the commitment of many hierarchs of light who, whether in recent times or in not so recent times, have determined not to give and give again of their causal bodies for the saving of the earth, for they have seen such darkness that has come upon the earth. So you see, I am a lobbyist, and I lobby for St. Germain. I lobby for myself. I ask you to lobby for me before the lords of karma and the great Surya and Kuzco. Let us lobby, beloved, so that all cosmic beings will say, those keepers of the flame of St. Germain, they mean business. We will move with them. We will see if they will do what they said they will do. We will see the word that they bring forth. We will see how they can set on fire a world. Beloved ones, when you prove that for me, for the solar logo eye, so that they will sponsor me, when that also comes from Omri Tas, you will simply see miracles before your eyes that you could never imagine would ever have happened. Look to the future, beloved, then look back. That is the only way you will know and understand whether this victory will be won. You must look and calculate what happens, not just in this year, but in decade upon decade upon decade. And those of you who are astute understand that the times, the seasons, the wars can be known. After all, Nostradamus prophesied many of these things. Some have come to pass. Some may be on the brink of coming to pass, but we also know that prophets prophesy so that they may turn back the prophecy. That is their one desire. Since there have been such accuracies, such repetitions, shall we not use our decrees, our momentum, our reversing the tide, and all of the challenges that there are? Shall we not use every means at our disposal? You have great means now, beloved. Let us have greater means and let they, them come swiftly. I am Saint Germain. I see now the planet in another octave. I see it in a sphere surrounding this planet that is fully of violet purple hue. It is a magnificent realm, beloved. It is in the etheric octave, and it is there that many souls reside until they are called again to take embodiment. It is, as we have said before, a very complex planet, very complex. Those who have not the understanding of the controls of the international bankers, those who do not understand the misuses of funds and how South America is being strangled because of the misuse of funds, if you do not understand the international equation, the monetary systems and what is being done, you ought to study it. You ought to have a weekend seminar on this very subject so that you can see how the world is being destroyed by these watchers, these fallen angels. You must understand it, beloved, because the little people in every nation are being strangled, strangled to the death. Where does this poverty come from again? the lords in Africa, millions on the march. These things are horrendous, and they beget such a recompense and such a descent of karma, beloved, that I cannot even tell you what shall come upon these fallen ones, but I can say this, that inevitably 
Many of the highest ranking of these fallen ones are being taken by the seven archangels because you have called for it. Call again. Remember, once upon a time you were giving calls every hour on the hour for one to two to three minutes. What has happened to this, beloved? Let us get back and let us get on with doing what we know how to do. If you exercise everything at hand that you can do, and if you meet in caucus and say to one another, let us have one plan, let us go with that plan, and let us go with it big time. Let us do that. Let us not have little groups here and little groups there thinking they know what to do when you have to have the mastermind consciousness that you are going to transform not only a nation, but a world. This is a global situation and nothing less. So you must think globally and you must realize that if war truly comes, it will not come alone to the United States. You have those in varying nations who have nothing to lose and everything to gain by destroying this nation and many other nations. This is the pivotal moment. This is it, beloved. There will never be a greater moment, a greater opportunity to solve the problems of earth, to win stripes for your ascension, and to get rid of these interlopers, these aliens, these laggard evolutions that have been, as you might say, and as I truly say, a pain in the neck for thousands and thousands of years. We are fed up. We can do something. Keepers of the flame, remember I have called you. Let us act and be up and doing. I bow to the light within you. I multiply my electronic presence. Therefore, at any moment when you call upon me, I shall be where you are, and we shall be one together in this victory. I seal you now. I seal this conference. I seal your conscience, and I say, know the truth, for the truth shall make you free.